Neal goes deep. It is intercepted! It's the freshman, Derek Stingley Jr. Hey everybody, Dave Archer here talking about some positions that could affect the Falcons in the draft early on. Let's take a look at the corners. We know we've got a great one. It looks like emerging in A.J. Terrell on one side. Who can you put on the other side to match that uh, athleticism and playability? There's some guys in this draft that certainly fit the bill. Let's start with Ahmad Sauce Gardner, the kid out of Cincinnati. He's 6'3", 190 pounds. This guy loves to play physical, likes to get up in your face. He's an experienced player. This is a guy who was a, an outstanding player in the AAC. You know, was the AAC Player of the Year defensively. Did an outstanding job there. 159 pass attempts against Gardner. No touchdowns. He's not allowing anybody to get in the end zone. Now, he gets come, kind of grabby downfield sometimes. We know that the flags are willing to come out there, but he uh, he does a good job of getting after people physically, and it stays it stays with it throughout the, the, uh, the route. It, he's got tremendous size at 6'3". Uh, he's got good ball skills. He can go up and catch the football. Had nine career interceptions in three seasons at Cincinnati. Number two on my list, Derek Stingley Jr. Stingley out of LSU, six feet, 188 pounds, played for the Tigers, but didn't play a lot over the last couple seasons. And that's where the red flag comes out. Where is he as far as his, his, uh, his injury standpoint? He had a pro day about two weeks ago, ran 4.37 in the 40 and had a 38 inch vertical. So this is a guy athletically certainly fits the bill. Uh, he's extremely fluid athlete. Now, by that I mean getting out of his back pedal, turning his hips and running. Um, he's an excellent start and stop guy too, because think about the corners. When you're back pedal, you gotta be able to plant and drive, or can you change directions with a route? This guy is outstanding in that area. Uh, but the, the, the red flag that pops up is the injuries. He's got to improve his tackling as well, and I think we could probably say that about all the corners. But Derek Stingley Jr. out of LSU, a guy that has drawn a lot of attention. Trent McDuffie out of Washington. He's uh, 5'11", 193, so not the gigantic size player, but a guy that's very solid. And this is a dude that's very versatile. You could put McDuffie in the slot, you could put him at corner, and I think that adds to his draft value, his ability to play all over the field. But uh, his, his, ability, his willingness to come in the slot, he, he's very aware of what's going on from a route complex standpoint too. That's, that's understanding if a one guy goes out, he's looking for inside breaking routes or double outside breaking routes, he has a really good feel for that kind of stuff. Got good short area quickness too. And if you play in the slot, that's something you gotta have because receivers have two way goes. They can go in out. You don't see that outside as much. Obviously they got a break to the inside. You can use the boundary to protect yourself. But in the slot, you have to be able to have that two-way go, and he's got excellent quickness in that area. Now, he did play in a heavy zone scheme, so how much does that weigh him down as far as being able to play man coverage in the National Football League? I don't think it's that big a deal based on his quickness and his ability to uh, change direction and plant and get after you. So don't worry about it. Trent McDuffie there. I think the kid is going to be an outstanding player. Andrew Booth Jr., the, uh, the junior out of Clemson, six feet, 194. I mean, when you begin to look at this kid, you might be able to just look at A.J. Terrell. He, he has a similar type of fiery competitiveness about him. He loves to get up in your face. He'll hit you. This is That's kind of rare for a corner. Corner wanted to, want to come up and hit you. Think about A.J. Terrell last year and some of the, the slobber knockers he landed at the corner spot. Similar situation here for Andrew Booth as a guy that likes to play physical. Now, his experience is wanes a little bit. He, was, he didn't play all through his three years there, and uh, he also guesses sometimes, and I guess corners have to have that knack in him. We saw that from a number of corners that have been good in this league. He guesses a little bit, gets him in trouble. And my last guy, Roger McCreary. McCreary is a 5'11", 190 guy, not that twitchy athlete dude that you see from these other guys, but the guy has got some incredible play strength. When you watch him on tape and come up and press on guys, especially in the Alabama game, look at him come up and press those receivers in the Alabama game. He is a strong technique guy. That helps him with his strength doubled up. That makes it a big deal. And he's got a lot of experience. He's played in 39 games in his career. Uh, he lacks the big speed that you like in a corner, kind of that makeup speed. And he does have a little bit shorter arms. With these big receivers nowadays, that could be a problem as well. So there's five guys for you that I think will play prominent in the draft, especially early on. This is not a deep class of corners, but the guys at the top are guys that are gonna come in and start right away.